Hi guys, today we are going to construct a parsing table or parser, LR parser table. That is what exact parser. From this DFA, we are trying to construct the parsing table. If you look at this diagram, in the previous session, we started constructing set I0. From this set, canonical closure set or epsilon closure set, this every state is said to be epsilon. People may use uh, what to say the symbol also epsilon computation or closure set. Any word we can use interchangeably. So, this is what we discussed. Every node is said to be either epsilon computation or closure set. So, from this, this dot operator need to be traversed or shifted or scanned until end of the production. So we need to go one symbol at a time because it is computer operation. It is not like a human parallel thinking or parallel way of looking at uh, will not happen. So that we are trying to shift the operator one symbol at a time. Whenever we are trying to shift the operator that particular symbol, all the combinations of that symbol in that canonical set we need to consider. So this is one of the canonical set. Within this canonical set, uh, this is closure set or one more word. Canonical. I think so. Oh yeah. Canonical set. This is another word. Canonical set. So if you look at in this point E, point or dot E, dot E, there are two combinations. So that we need to cross or scan the symbol E, we need to cross the dot operator. So E. Then by that, we reached the state canonical set I1. Similarly, in order to cross the dot operator T symbol, this is a transition T. We reached the canonical set IT that is shifted. Then after shifting, we need to look at if it is terminal or if it is empty, no more activity. If it is non-terminal, we need to bring all its productions. Then crossing the symbol dot F symbol, we are reaching this canonical set I3. Similarly, to cross the ID, we reach the canonical set FID. Then cross the plus, cross the star, cross the T, cross the star, cross F, cross ID, here cross ID, cross star. So this is what we discussed. So with that note, let us move on to the table construction. For that, let me reduce the size of this uh, diagram. Hope you would understand what is this diagram. Now, we need to move forward the table construction. This day, if you look at closely the table construction, any moment I say table, it's a, it's in the form of row and columnar manner. That everyone aware of it. When it is row and columnar manner, all the row, what is going to be in the row, all the column, what is going to be, or for what we are designing a column, or for what we are going to construct a table that we should be aware. If we look at here, I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, I7, I8. How this all has come, the row labeling. Row labeling has come based on this canonical set, closure set computation. So this is a closure set. So totally we have eight different circles. So that eight different circles we are representing in terms of eight rows. I not I one. This every row in, in the table, every row represents the circle or state. State in the canonical set. Look at here. The entire table splitted into two different sections. One of the section is action. Another section is go to. For this action section, we do consider all the terminal symbols from the given grammar. The terminal symbols given the given grammar are plus star id, then dollar one special symbol. We need to include that. That is our duty. Then we are including four columns for the terminals alone. Then coming to go to section. We need to collect all the non-terminals in the original grammar, not in the augmented grammar. 
this is what original grammar 1 2 3 4 5 these four productions are original grammar so that if we look at e t f these are all the only non terminals available in the given grammar so e t f we are constituting the column with respect to go to table after this go to table row and column construction we need to go for filling this table whenever we are trying to fill the table i just give you what and all the entry would come this table entries are number 1 table entries are shift operation this is one of the operation then reduce operation this shift operation is represented all the time only with the symbol and the state s4 s5 something like that similarly reduce operation reduce is represented by r symbol followed by the number is num number of the production originally i said in the step number 1 we need to mark the numbering for each and every production that number is said to be 3 next error all the error entries are empty whenever there is a empty that is said to be errors position then next is accept this is one more representation these all are possible for these all are possible only for terminal that that is this is called action table these are all the combinations applicable for action table not for go to table what would become in the action table go to table let us see go to table consist of all the non terminals <coughs> we need to give the state number upon the term non terminal which state it reached so for all the go to is represented with simply a state number nothing more this is the philosophy or this is what the understanding you should have before proceeding with action and go to table <clears throat> action table always we are trying to do the operations shift reduce error accept shift is represent you can write even shift no need to write yes and all you can write even reduce for the time consumption or for the lazy purpose i am not sure people have started <coughs> using this conventional representation in the textbooks that is how we are following but nothing wrong in it if you write shift 5 reduce 4 shift 4 something like that if you write there is nothing wrong in it now we need to understand when to fill the cell shift when to fill the cell with reduce when to fill the cell error when to fill the cell accept when to fill the cell state number with respect to go to table <coughs> these all filling is highly dependent on this particular diagram this is the diagram you are making use of constructing the table this is the answer now let us look into how each table is filled up the entries are filled with the table hope so it is visible both table and the diagram if not we are not uh, required for the bottom line of the table let us keep this this is sufficient so we can work on first three rows <coughs> look at i not the moment i say i not row your focus should be on the circle or the state or the canonical set <coughs> or closure set or epsilon computation with i not look at this i not state what you need to focus you need to focus on each and every column keeping in your mind this state row then one by one column you need to look at look at the column focus on the column id first if you are looking at the column id <coughs> upon id or to cross the symbol id dot crossing id is it happening or not you need to simply look at the outgoing edge 
if there is any edge labeled with id focus that edge where it is reaching it is reaching to the state i4 so you need to write upon shifting the id dot operator is operator is shifted from left hand side of id to right hand side of id <coughs> that is called shift operation so what you are trying to do shift of 4 you reached you shifted the dot operator you reached the state number 4 that is why you are writing shift 4 very simple shift 4 why it has come you need to try to understand next look at the i not pair the combination with the column plus look at from the i not is there any label goes with the plus not at all none of the label has the plus among these four arrows so that it is error entry <coughs> next make a pair i not star again look at from the i not all the outgoing arcs are edges none of the edges labeled with a star so that it becomes error look at dollar make a pair i not dollar being at i not state look at all the outgoing edges is there any dollar <coughs> none of the edges labeled with dollar so that it becomes empty or error state so among that action table for the row i not we have only one entry for id that is shift 4 rest of all other columns are error entry similarly look at the go to table make a pair i not and non terminal capital e this becomes a pair concentrate your focus on i not look at all the edges is there any edge goes with i e yes absolutely there is a transition on e it reaches to which canonical set i1 so that we are writing i1 then make a pair i not is a row capital t is a column look at a pair i not all the edges you need to concentrate there is one edge goes with the label capital t this label goes to which state i2 that two is marked here make a pair i not f concentrate on i not look at all the arc is there any arc goes with f yes this is the label transition goes with f where it goes it goes to the state i3 so that you are filling the label 3 this is the first row filling action <coughs> now let us move on to i1 this row says i1 state represents i1 canonical set or state so that our focus should be on this i1 state keep your attention on this i1 state let us travel one by one make a pair i1 and id <coughs> being at i1 look at only one edge is going the transition no more edge then naturally i need to give this cell as empty or error state either you can write error or empty <coughs> next look at the column plus i1 and plus combination keep your attention on i1 state look at is there any arc goes with the label plus yes absolutely goes with plus upon plus the dot operator is shifted towards which state i5 so that i am writing s5 shift 5 that before the plus there is a dot operation operator i am shifting the dot operator after the plus that left hand side dot operator becomes right hand side operator that is what called shift operation so that shift operation i am representing with s5 for the pair i1 and plus look at the state i1 
dollar when you need to fill up dollar let us discuss this is a unique case only one time you will have this accept unique please pay your attention because this is only one time it occurs in the table so look at i1 state look at all the internal content one production have completed dot reached the end of the production look at this carefully augmented production s dash produces e dot this is called augmented production in which state or in which row the augmented production completes a scanning for that entry you need to give this accept this is only one circumstance it comes please pay your attention this accept we need to put for the corresponding state number i1 look at the production this production dot operator shifted reached the end of the production that is well and good for what it reached augmented production that is the notable point so that augmented production is available in the state i1 so that you are marking accept then being at i1 look at is there any label goes with e t f not at all because it has only one label so that it all these all entry becomes empty pair i1 e pair i1 t pair i1 f all the entries become empty now concentrate on the state number i2 this is what the state number we are speaking about i2 in this i2 let us focus first i2 and id make a pair i2 and id from i2 only one edge is going out no other edge that edge is also marked with star then there is no id labeled transition is going outward from i2 so that it becomes empty or error next look at within that i2 there are two productions one production completed the scanning operation the dot has reached at the end of the production so that this is another scenario this is the first time i am explaining about this look at pay your attention this is new scenario shift and go to repeated several times now let us come to this state here we have seen augmented production completed the scanning here a ordinary production given the original set production augment it is reached the it reached it has reached the end of the production dot operator reached end of the production e produces t now for this scenario we need to look at the number of this production e produces t let us go back and look at only one time i will show you not every time e produces t look at carefully what is the production number 2 this is the production number 1 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 remember or else we can scan the diagram itself look at this is the number 2 i labeled now with that number 2 we need to remember and go to the table <coughs> look at the table within the table we are writing r2 reduce to otherwise you focus here also see this is the production number 1 this is production number 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so this is the production available with the number 2 position not the augmentation grammar rest all so that i am writing reduced to this production is reduced whenever dot reaches end of the production that is called reduction reduce action so that r2 next make a pair i2 star look at i2 star upon i2 star where you are going you are going to the state i6 so that what you are doing i6 i2 star s6 shift or shift action is happening s6 next what you are trying to do i2 dollar why this dollar has come we need to go for follow computation for the follow operation we need to include reduce action 
follow has plus follow has dollar whenever the follow we need to compute follow as well right now whenever we have follow for that all the follow the production number we need to fill up r4 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 r5 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 the production number all the shift and other operations are depending upon see shift and error and go to are highly dependent upon this diagram only the production action fully dependent upon follow computation hope so you may be remembering the follow otherwise i need to copy paste from the existing we can proceed with whichever you say i can do if you are ready to compute follow then we can proceed we need to do for the follow computation we need to go for first from the first only we need to go for follow computation once if we have got follow symbols then these are four entries are possible reduction entries are possible if not only shift error go to these are all only we can fill similarly accept also we can fill accept is for only augmented production within the state whenever the dot reached the end of the production for that we are writing accept that's all now excluding this all reduction let us traverse or go through the go to operations and shift operation from the next class onwards we can continue once again with the reduction first and follow computation you can come with first and follow for the next class then we can do the same with our demonstration with the new table we can fill up so this is what my agenda to proceed further now let us go for the next cell i2 is ready i3 look at i3 a t produces f dot reduced this production reduced but for what column we need to write that reduce 5 say i t produces f is what 1 2 3 4 this production number we need to write but to whom we need to write is a question so for that only we would be requiring follow set next look at i5 if you look at i5 i5 here i5 there is one symbol or two sim two non terminals one non terminal t two terminals star and id so there are two labels let us make a pair one by one no need to hurry up i5 look at i5 i5 id look at id from the symbol id where it reaches it reaches to i4 so that we are writing shift to 4 here shift to 4 is written here 